Buenas, buenas. Welcome to In The Daw. I'm Kevin Ochoa, and today we're going to be taking a look at how to change your arrangement inside Elfo Studio. So, for those of you who don't know, there's actually this uh, chord track, I mean, not chord track, a uh, marker track inside Elfo Studio that lets you uh, create these little uh, names and tags throughout your song. So, for example, when I right-click on it, I can move my content right or I can move my content left. So you, you see how, how that works? Uh, so essentially, everything that's within this uh, marker and the next marker gets switched to the right or to the left, depending on how I want it to go. So let's play back this really quick. Alright, so let's go ahead and do this from scratch. So let's grab all these guys, press Control C to copy all the patterns and all the clips, and I'll go to my arrangement window and add one. So this is going to create a whole new arrangement. New. I'm going to call it new arrangement. And then I'm press Control V to paste my patterns and my clips, and you'll see that it's a pretty similar lay layout, but of course, I don't have my uh, my template over here. Um, so once that I'm in a new arrangement window, what I can do to access that chord track is I can press Control T to access that chord track. And now you see that this little marker was created. It's named Auto. I can right click on it and rename it. So let's go ahead and rename or press R to rename it. And then let's go ahead and call it, for example, we can call it the verse. Let's pretend that was the verse in our track. Then we're, we're going to go up here and press Control T again, track five, I mean, bar five, and then rename this to, say, chorus. Boom. We got that guy going, and then press Control T again, and rename this to verse two. Or let's call this the break. All right, so now once you have those tracks like that, you can just simply right click on them and select move content right. And then move it all the way to the right and let's say you don't want that pattern anymore. Boom, you can delete it and you can also delete this marker. Delete, or you can press Control Z to bring them back. And I really like that you can change that really quickly inside of a studio. My only real gripe is that I can't just right click right here and select delete ever to delete everything that's within this marker. I have to uh, delete all the patterns first, and then I have to delete the marker as well. And even then, there's just this big gap that's left behind, so I have to move my content left. And you'll see that this kinda doesn't really work. So I usually prefer just to move my content all the way to the right, and then delete it. Or I think we can do this, can move content right, and bam. So, so yeah, it's um, it's a little bit weird, but once you get uh, to know it, it's gonna be it's gonna be an absolute breeze. And the cool thing about this is that, let's say you have a pre-chorus in your song and you're kind of iffy about it, on the edge about it, you can create a new arrangement window just by simply coming up here, creating a new arrangement, and when you create this new arrangement, you can paste everything in there and then get rid of that uh, pre-chorus and then compare it to the previous track so we can delete this and put it put this over here and then just compare it to the previous track and say oh okay perhaps i don't like it and perhaps i like the original idea i had so i'll stick with that one so it's just a, a matter of uh getting used to the way um, the markers work and just pressing Control t to make a marker all right i hope you guys enjoy this video that you guys learned something new. And if you guys enjoyed the content, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more useful content. I'm Kevin Ochar with In The Da, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.